Uh, let's do it, huh? This is the Big Zenith. It's got nine channels. They have questions. Hopefully you have some answers. Enough answers to get you in the wheel of Jeopardy. And that's when all the fun really starts. Jim, you're in control. You have the lead. Go ahead. All right, can I like channel number three, please? Anything you say, Jim. Gourmet channel, five points. When a militant skinhead with a chocolate bar gets in a fist fight with a talk show host holding a jar of peanut butter, what yummy candy gets created, Jim? Reese's. Reese's. Peanut butter cups. More, more information. Reese's peanut butter cups. Thank you, because you know they have a lot of products. That's what? Yes! That was what? Corny, that question. It was corny? Yeah. It's intricate part of American culture. It was corny. It's intricate part of American culture. I beg to differ, fine sir. Make him change the channel, it was a bad okay, channel. Okay, go ahead, Jim. Thanks, Colin. I'd like to stay with Channel 3. Sure. <laughs> In your face, pal. Right, here we go. Ten points. Call <laughs> <laughs> it after you, okay. Colin. Thanks. Hey, leave it alone, Colin. Sideburns went out a long time ago. Here we go. <laughs> According to the wise old owl, how many licks does it take to get to the center? Ron. I have a Tootsie Roll pop. Oh, jump in. Well, how many licks does it take to get to the center, Jim? Three. Three, right. I have a Tootsie Roll pop. Ten points. <laughs> I don't know, I don't suck Tootsie Roll Pops. Okay, go ahead, Jim. Uh, I'll close out channel three, please. Okay, staying with the gourmet channel, Colin. Here we go, 15 points. What brand of toaster treats has a name that sounds like exploding women with loose Jim? Pop-Tarts. Loose morals, right, 15 points. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Pop-Tarts. Kind of all, it's very close to being a joke. Go ahead, Jim. Yeah, I, can I like channel number eight, please? Channel eight, Geek TV. Geek TV, need I say more? Here we go, five points. On the Lucy Show, what was the name of the geeky old banker who was always yelling at poor Lucy? Name of the geeky old banker. Jim. Mr. McGillicuddy. No. Good intentions, but wrong answer. Mr. Mooney. Or Mr. Mooney. Go ahead, Jim, shake it up. You have 35 points. Noreen and Ron have yet to score. All right, I'd like to get away from that. I'd like to go to channel number one, please. Channel one, sing along with Colin. Okay, 10 points. Listen up. Sing the next line of this classic Pink Floyd tune. Did you leave them kids alone? Hey, teacher. Leave them kids alone. Okay. Ron. All in all, it's just another brick in the wall. Yeah! That's good, Ron. That's fine. <laughs> all right, Ron. Colin's it. Colin's the thing. Wow. Colin's the thing. All right, let's close out. Sing along. This one will get you 15 points. Okay, sing the next line to this Bruce Springsteen hit. <laughs> Jim. Baby, we were born to run. 15 yeah. points. <laughs> All right, 50 points, Jim. Ron has 10. Wow. Noreen, go like this. Just shake it out, man. I'm How's trying. Your, is, your, is your button finger okay? I think so. Okay, go ahead, Jim. All right, I like channel number five, please. Channel five, Cousin Flip. <laughs> My Cousin Flip. No, he tries very hard to be the next Rich Little. So listen up and guess what TV character he is doing his best impersonation of. Boy, it sure is cold in here. Oh, thanks for the help, fellas. Oh, I don't think it's cold in here. I think it's, well, forget it. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do my impersonation now. I hope it's no bother, but if you're late just one more time than Flintstone, I'm going to fire you. Who's the impersonator, Jim? Mr. Slate. Mr. Slate, right, 10 points. <laughs> Woo 
Is that some kind of, we're supposed to purchase yeah. stolen electronic equipment or something? I don't know. What do you want to do, Jimmy? I'll stay with Channel 5. Okay. Cut the oh, clip. Joy of joys, he stayed with me. Hey, it's cold in here, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> it's not cold at all, it's warm. Yeah, it's warm in here. Can I take off my, it's cold. It's freezing. I'm flip-flopping. Um, I don't, oh, here's my next imitation. <clears throat> I don't mean to sound, uh, I don't mean to sound mean, but if, uh, uh, but I think that if it's not too much trouble, uh, you should stow it, flow, and um, Vera, you are a dinghy and stuff. Noreen. Mel. Yes, 15 yeah. points. Yeah. Noreen is in second place. Go ahead, Noreen. Yeah. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Yes, Mom. <laughs> it's time for your whole permanent. All right, uh, I'll, I'll be right out. Put the rubber gloves on. Okay, it's time for a snack break, folks, while you guys are much away. <laughs> what else? Oh, yeah, fortune cookies, I forgot to tell you. Go we'll check the score. Jim's got 60, Noreen 15, Ron's got 10, round 2 coming right up. And the person left standing has a shot at grabbing this stuff. More fun from Aviva. Aviva Rebound. Unbelievable bounce back power makes Rebound incredibly fun sports training. Aviva, the way to play. It's a collection of Arista CDs with the latest hits from such artists as Whitney Houston and Millie Vanilli. Phones from Conair's Conair phone line. Featuring quality telephone and answering machines with designs and features for today's consumer. Conair phone. Suzuki's Omnicord, the new electronic guitar, lets you be a maestro in minutes the very first time you try. Omnicord, the one-man band you can strum. Emerson's beautiful stereo rack system with AM-FM tuning, dual cassette, turntable, and remote control. Fine-tune your life with Emerson. Hey, remote control, control the the Welcome back to the only game show that's like a vacation. In hell! Remote control! <laughs> We're back, round two. Get over round one. The points are double wise up for off the air. It's that simple. Let's check the scores quickly. Jim, 16, Noreen, 15, Ron, 10. Uh, let's see what happens. Noreen, you're in control. Um, channel 9, please, Ken. Channel 9? Nine? 9. Talking trash. Why blow 35 cents in the tabloids when Alicia doles out celebrity gossip for nothing? Throw it out, babe. Get down. So let me tell you, it seems as though a certain L.A. lawyer's face turned red and so does his butt when he overdid it in a certain Tinseltown tanning salon. So who is this hunky blonde lobster with the all-over tan? Tell me now. <laughs> Noreen. Corbin Burns. Yes, 20 points. Very good. Um, 35. I'll stay with Channel 9. <laughs> stay with Channel 9. Okay, one more time. Okay, so... Tom Cruise manned a big gun and old Top Gun, but it looks as though he's shooting blanks where it counts, if you know what I mean. Anyway, apparently he and his wife have been trying to conceive for some months now, but though he's uh, sizzling in Hollywood, poor Tom there is fizzling out in the bedroom. Poor Tom. So tell me who is his unlucky actress wife. Noreen. Mimi Rogers. Very good. Very point. <laughs> Noreen, you're in the lead. Unbelievable. Um, Playing possum in the first round, huh? Yep. Laying low, letting the guys get all tired out. Jim Dolph okay. check us with confrontation with Colin, and now, boom, you're right in the lead. Go ahead. Um, channel 4. Channel 4, Mary Tyler Moore. Ten points. Hey, who did Sue Ann warn about the, wax, warn about the waxy buildup on his shiny bald head? Noreen. Um, Gavin McLeod. Give me the character name, please. Uh, Murray. Yes, Murray, ten points. <laughs> 75, go ahead, Noreen. Channel 2. Channel Channel two. Andy's diary. Yes, sir. Andy is back from the dead. He looks better than ever, and his diary is loaded with gossip. Andy, could I just steal a minute of your time? I know you're sure, very busy Kenny, and you're dead, you so want. I won't take long. What I've always wondered this: what is the deal with the soup can? I I like Campbell soup because it's a real manhandler. <laughs> well, it's great Thank to be you. back, Ken. You know I've been dead for a while. When I was alive, my presence at a party used to be considered de rigueur. Now it's considered de rigueur mortis. <laughs> it's a little pop joke. Hey, take it easy. I didn't write the joke. I got the joke from the comedian friend of mine who's starring in that new movie, uh, Dead Poet Society. Um, I forget his name. What is it? That's Jim. Robin Williams. Yes, Robin Williams. Funny. 
Yeah. What would you like to do, Jim? You have the lead now. Andy, you're out of here. We're going with channel number seven, please. Andy, it's not hip. What's I hip? love the silk screen you sometimes, Kenny. Okay, we can work that out. Have your people call my people. Okay, black and white TV. This is about classic television. Let's check out what happens. Here we go, 10 points. If you ate a bad enchilada and dreamed your siblings were Princess Kitten and Bud, you'd be in the middle of what warm-hearted 50s, Noreen? Uh, Father Knows Best. Yes, TV Family Show, 10 points. 85, you're in the lead. Stick with Channel 7. Stick with Channel 7, black and white TV again. This is for 20. Jesus Christ and Mr. Ed both reportedly died at the same age. What is that age? Jim. 34. No. <laughs> Someone else? 15? Right? What? 15? 15, no. <laughs> what a kid! Okay, go ahead, Ron. 27. No, 27. Jim, you were amazingly close. You were either a very religious or an equestrian. It was 33. Oh. But uh, no cigar. Go ahead, Noreen. Um, channel 8, please. Channel 8. Public television. Let's face it, if you guys watch public TV, you wouldn't be here on our show. You'd be watching Jeopardy. Anyway, these are tough questions. Listen carefully. Ten points. What do you call the division of a state into political subdivisions to secure a majority of a given political party? Um, any, let's help with the crew. Any of you guys in the crew? Um, Jim, you know? Oh, that's simple, Ken. It's gerrymandering. Gerrymandering, right. That is the division of a state into political subdivisions to secure a majority vote. Uh, Jerry! Excuse me, uh, Jim, you were, you were what? You were in the state senate or, the re or, or uh, in the house? Oh, the house, Ken. You were in the house for what? Yeah. Four years, one term. The yeah, house. All right. <laughs> go ahead, Noreen. Um, let's go back to channel seven. Channel seven, black and white TV. This is 30 points. On the Adams Family, what did Uncle Fester use to get rid of his migraine headaches? Ron. A hammer. No. Jim. Uh, bed and nails. No. Noreen. Aspirin? Aspirin, no. <laughs> Great, Noreen. That's great. Go ahead, Noreen. What do you want to do? Um. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Ronnie. We hardly knew you. Take care. Nice to see you, Ron. Thanks for dropping by.